hello friends uh, welcome in this session i am going to discuss uh, about uh, how to find out the benefic and malefic uh, uh, planets in uh, uh, kp system how to use uh, krishnamurti paddhati to find out whether a planet is uh, good or bad so but before uh, we look into what krishnamurti has to say about it let's quickly you know look at uh, the traditional you know approach uh, about how to find out whether a planet is good or bad so this is you know one of the example horoscope this is the ascendant this is the second house this is the 12th house and north and south layout count clockwise i have listed here you know some of the traditional you know approaches there are many but uh, just to give you an idea uh, uh, i have listed a few so one is about you know the functional uh, benefics or uh, the malefics good or bad planet depending on the uh, what the ascendant is so for example for aries ascendant mars sun and jupiter they are deemed to be good and uh, similarly you know the other planets are neutral or average, average or uh, 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 bad for the aries similarly you know for the other ascendant another ap- approach is uh, about you know the kendra adipati or kendra adipati dosh where you know if a planet uh, uh, occupies these four houses then there is a process in the traditional astrology where a good planet becomes bad and a bad planet you know becomes good third approach is about you know find out the satvik rajasik or tamasik planet depending on what kind of you know constellation the stars uh, they are placed into another approach is to look at the ownership Uh, of a planet uh, pertaining to you know some of these houses for example these houses are deemed to be uh, uh, bad 3 6 8 11 and 12 and if a planet uh, it becomes the ruler or the lord of these houses then one tends to jump to the conclusion that this planet is you know bad for this uh, horoscope so these are you know just a few uh, things that i have uh, listed here in the traditional astrology and one of the major you know drawbacks in the traditional approach is that uh, it tends to compartmentalize or segregate you know planets into a very black and white you know kind of area a planet is bad or a planet is good okay and but in practical you know life uh, we find that a planet uh, can be good or bad at the same time there are so many events you know that happen in the life at the same time and a particular event is good and at the same time you know one is uh, going through some rough phase in other you know sphere of life so it doesn't really work out you know you can't really say if a planet is 100% bad or good you, know. you can't jump to conclusions and the second thing is in uh, tradition you know astrology there's so many different you know theories and so many different uh, methods that uh, Uh, if you try to get into all those methods and the at the, at the end of the day you just totally going to be you know confused so let's look at you know what krishnamurti has to say about it now this horoscope you know belongs to or uh, is of uh, president you know uh, obama and so this is a krishnamurti you know horoscope uh, according to krishnamurti i hope you know you can see all these images i have to take all these images from various you know websites and i hope you know the image quality is not very poor and so this is the cusp chart and uh, the planets and the uh, you know the nakshatra lord and this is the table of uh, significators so now if you look at this horoscope and uh, if you're looking if you're using you know krishnamurti paddhati and uh, now you have to find out what are the good or the bad planets so according to krishnamurti no house is good no house is bad and no planet is good or no planet is bad it all depends on you know what particular uh, specific area of life you know you are looking into or what kind of question you know a person has on his or her mind so let's say you know if uh, president obama comes to you it's very unlikely but uh, hypothetically let's say it comes to you and he wants to find out you know about about his political you know career so in that case then obviously in traditional astrology you know you look at the 10th house but in krishnamurti paddhati you know one house alone is not sufficient for uh, uh, for determining uh, uh, about a particular question in life there is a group of houses or uh, some houses get you know interlinked and 
this is how you know then uh, a result is made so the good houses you know from the career or uh, let's say from uh, uh, political point of view are uh, two six ten and eleven okay so let's forget about the you know the second house that has more to do with you know the wealth money and all that let's just focus on the sixth and tenth and eleventh now if you have to judge this horoscope from the uh, you know what kind of political status this person is going to achieve in, in his uh, lifetime then you have to pretty much you know focus on the 6 10 and 11 all these houses you know because the interlinking or the grouping of these houses together is uh, what what is going to um, uh, determine whether you know person is going to rise politically or not going to rise you know politically so i'll just give you you know a few examples that how you know uh, now if you have to look at you know that say sun and look from this point of view whether this sun is going to be you know uh, uh, good or bad uh, pol- politically from the you know the political angle for this whole scope then uh, you have to look at uh, uh, you know what kind of uh, uh, signification the sun has in terms of you know houses so sun you know is uh, is in six so sun signifies six and then uh, sun is a you know in the star of uh, uh, mercury so there's 5 6 8 and then you have you know 10 12 and so if you look at you know 6 10 and 11 so you would say that sun is okay i would you would not say that uh, you know it's very powerful and, uh, and let's look at you know the jupiter so the jupiter is uh, uh, 2 11 and 12 and uh, the you know by ownership of placement and let me quickly explain you know how uh, how you know uh, the significator this worked out in krishnamurti paddhati many of you might be knowing but uh, for any new user and jupiter uh, uh, 2 11 12 jupiter is the owner of the second house and then it is 11 so owner of the 11th house and it is sitting in 12th house so 2 11 and 12 and then you know uh, it is in the star of sun sun is where in sixth and then it is in the um, uh, sub of ketu okay so i'll not go into ketu at this stage it will become confusing but uh, you know the 2 11 is very good 6 is very good and then here you know 1 is good 3 is good and uh, 10 is also good 12 is uh, alone so it's not going to do you know much work so you can see you know the jupiter is uh, uh, very powerful in this horoscope um, from the you know the career or the political you know point of view and why i am saying political is if you look at you know the the main signification of jupiter is actually giving the result of sixth house um, because it is uh, deposited in the star of sun and sixth house is very important you know um, in winning you know competition and uh, Uh, winning over you know opponent so you can say jupiter is uh, very good in the horoscope now in, let me you know go back into the tradition you know this thing now if you are looking at this chart you will see that jupiter is you know debilitated and jupiter jupiter debilitated jupiter is the lord of 12th house and jupiter is lord of the 3rd house these houses are not deemed to be good and on top of it jupiter is debilitated at the same time so you might say that jupiter is not good for this horoscope but actually what has happened is that uh, he became the president you know during the, the jupiter you know period and from the krishnamurti's uh, point of view you can see that uh, jupiter does indicate that uh, uh, this person you know for this person jupiter is a very you know a powerful planet so so the idea is that uh, the question was about you know the career Uh, and uh, how a planet is going to be good or bad so we looked at sun and jupiter with some example now let's say obama wants to look at uh, his uh, you know married life so in, now in that case you have to look at uh, a different you know grouping of uh, uh, houses and for uh, the, the good houses are 1 sorry 2 7 and 11 and the bad houses are 1 
6 and 10. Okay, so these are the bad houses. Now for marriage and enjoying, you know, the married life, these are the good houses, family, you know, uh, union and all that. And 1, 6 and 10 are the bad houses. Okay, and, uh, and, and now if you look at uh, the Jupiter uh, or, uh, you know, the Jupiter period, and if you have to analyze that, uh, see his first question was about the political career so you you looked at the combination of these houses you know for the political for the political you know uh, career uh, point of view and you looked at jupiter that how it's going to you know do good or bad or how it's going to be proved to be a malefic or benefit now when the question comes about the marriage or the matrimonial life of president obama if that is the question then you have to look at these and these houses okay so these houses are positive for the for enjoying you know a married life or getting even married and these houses are bad so now if you look at Jup look at this uh, you know uh, the jupiter and now the question on your mind is uh, from the matrimony you know or the married life so then you will see it's kind of you know not bad it's kind of you know uh, neutral because uh, 3 7 is good over here and 2 11 is okay over here so so you know in a way it is fine but if we look at let's say take another you know planet let's say we take mars so mars is uh, 3 7 which is okay 10 is bad and uh, 6 is bad okay so mars is good from the <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> political point of view but if you look uh, from the matrimonial point of view then 6 is not good and here 10 is not good and then you find that uh, 10 is again over here, but it's kind of, you know, average. So this is how, you know, you have to look at uh, each of these planets and uh, keeping in mind that what kind of a question, you know, a person has or what kind of a particular uh, area of uh, life, you know, uh, you are looking into. And, and then you have to look at, uh, you know, the interlinking of the houses. And this is how then you arrive at a decision that whether a Portrait planet is, uh, you know, good or bad, uh, in a, in a horoscope. So no house is good and no house is bad. This is one of the very, you know, uh, I would say a paramount, you know, contribution of Krishna Murti in uh, uh, in uh, uh, in giving us a process of how to find out whether a planet is, you know, good or bad. If a person comes to you and uh, he or she has a question about how to get a divorce maybe you know somebody is going through a rough you know matrimonial life so that might seem to be a negative question for you but for that particular person you know it's a very positive thing and that is what he or she is looking for so it all depends on you know what kind of a question a person has and uh, and just how you know then you have to find out if a planet is good or bad now apart from this the there is another you know uh, thing about uh, malefic and benefic and that's about the inherent you know nature of a planet every planet has you know its own inherent you know quality and so that d does play a you know significant role and i'll just give you an example um, uh, that krishmurti himself has quoted and uh, uh, let, let's say you know you have a property and uh, you have rented out to someone and that someone you know your tenant uh, uh, is ruled by a certain planet and uh, he or she has to give you a monthly rent and uh, then what happens is suppose that tenant is ruled by uh, by Saturn then that particular person is not going to give you a check on the you know the first of the month he or she might delay it and give you on the maybe 25th or 29th of the month because that is the natural you know quality of the Saturn about uh, delay and uh, there is some disappointment that's always you know associated with Saturn. If your tenant is ruled by you know Jupiter, then uh, you know Jupiter is a very honorable person, so you will never have an issue with that kind of a of a tenant. And if you are uh, if your tenant is you know ruled by Mars, then Mars is a fiery planet, and uh, you might have to exchange you know some heated words with him to realize you know your rent and. Uh, so similarly, you know, about the other planets, uh, all planets have, have some kind of a natural, you know, significance, uh, which is basically called as a karakattu. But that is more like, um, you know, a qualifying, you know, attribute when you want to go into uh, detail of uh, making a prediction or an analysis. 
so this is how you know you have to find out the malefic and benefic planet this is a very you know good and logical approach that has been uh, suggested by by krishnamurti and uh, you might want to you know explore more of it uh, so that's all uh, in the session and hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching